Hello, I'm Christina Saylee, Positive Discipline Parent Educator and Parenting Coach. And I'm coming to you every week with a new Positive Discipline Parenting Tool. Today, we're going to talk about routines. As summer ends and the school year begins, it's time to think about our routines. Although the school year may look very different for most of our students this year, routines are more important than ever in order to have a sense of security in these uncertain times. Creating routine charts is great training for children to learn time and life management skills. So first, create routines with your children. The more say that you have, um, that you give them in um, creating their routines, then the more buy-in you're gonna have and likelihood that they will actually um, follow the routines. So first brainstorm what needs to happen, tasks that need to be done, whether you're talking about a morning routine, a schoolwork routine, or a bedtime routine. For our younger children, bedtime routines seem to be the biggest struggle. So you may wanna start with creating a bedtime routine and that could um, include taking a bath, brushing teeth, putting on pajamas, a story time, and hugs. So have um, your child list everything that needs to happen for the routine and then take a picture of your child doing each of these things and have your child then put the pictures in order for um, how things need to happen in what order before bedtime. Yeah, and um, let's see. And then post the routine chart where the, your child can easily access it daily. Also, I wanted to talk about um, three routines that are really important for um, going back to school and homeschooling and, and having a successful homework routine. And um, number one is one that I talk a lot about is special time routine. And um, if you remember, special time is a time where you um, mark it on your calendar and have special one-on-one -on -one time with each of your children where you do something that your child enjoys. This time is very important. The more time that you spend in special time, the less time you will spend dealing with misbehavior. So for children two to six, um, that means 10 minutes per day and children uh, seven to 12 is at least 30 minutes per week and children 13 and older at least once a month. And again, remember the more time that you spend in special time with your children, then the less time you're going to be dealing with those attention seeking behaviors uh, during schoolwork. Also is getting enough sleep. A sleep routine is very important for our children's ability to focus. And children three to six should be getting 10 to 12 hours per night. Children seven to 12 should be getting 10 to 11 hours per night. And children 12 to 18 should be getting at least nine to eight hours per night. Sleep deprivation can look like ADD symptoms, which are hyperactivity, inability to focus, agitation and impulsive behavior. So I cannot stress how important it is that your child get enough sleep. Lastly, in order to create a successful root homework routine is to give kids a say in their plan to complete their homework. So letting them have a say in um, what order they do work or um, how, when they take breaks and how long those breaks should be and what they do in those breaks. Um, and, you know, as long as they're getting the work done that needs to be done, giving them as much re um, say in how it gets done is so important to them actually sticking to the schedule and uh, less whining and complaining and power struggles. 
So also you want to make sure that you um, provide a distraction free space uh, that can look different in each home. Um, and as well as providing a calm down space. So when they needed to break, even in school, we have lots of breaks, whether it be recess, lunch, or what we call brain breaks, because our children can really focus for so long and being on Zoom all day can be really challenging. So if they do get frustrated or just need a break, we want them to have a space where they can do some cal calm down exercises or sensory exercises or anything that helps them to calm down, which could be listening to music, reading a book, just hugging a stuffy, but they're gonna need those breaks throughout the day. So I hope you found this helpful and uh, next week we will talk about another positive discipline parenting tool. Thank you. Bye-bye.